Hey guys, this is the Fort Worth Glock guy, and I got a package in the mail recently, and um, as you see before you, it's a knife. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I'm into case knives, specifically the copper locks, and um, I was looking around, you know, wanting to expand my collection a little bit, and I ran across the case Butterbean, which is a little bit smaller uh, case knife and I wanted to check it out. And uh, so I started searching the web, you know, looking on eBay, trying to find the Butterbean. And some of them can get kind of pricey, you know, just depending on the, the brand or, you know, the material it's made out of and whatnot. And I w really didn't want to pay um, too much if I wasn't gonna like the knife. So, um, yeah, I ran across a um, knockoff brand, um, and this is the Bullfrog, and they're made out of uh, Lafayette, Tennessee, and um, this was a much more inexpensive version of what looks to be a case knife, and, you know, we'll see how, the, um, how it holds up over time. But I wanted to go ahead and order it just to see, number one, if I like the size of it. So uh, just to give you a little size comparison, we'll move this box out of the way because we no longer need that. Um, this is the Victorinox Tinker. And you can see that it's roughly the same size as that. It's a little bit shorter, not much. Um, it really is you know, almost the same size. Um, and it's a little bit thinner than the Tinker as well. Okay, so there that is. And just to kind of give you a little picture of the knife, um, they come in all different kind of uh, bone. And this is the, I believe it's the stag, which I really like. Um, so that's the version that I wanted to get. And the bolsters are, I don't know if they're um, nickel plated or not, but they're very shiny brass at this point. Um, and then if you look on the inside, I mean, this, these, this is brand new, so, I mean, it's very shiny brass inserts, you can see. And of course, there's no rusting or anything. I mean, this is brand new, so we'll see how it holds up over time. Um, it's got two blades. The cutting edge on the larger blade is exactly two inches from um, tip to right here, and is two and a quarter down to the bolster. And then from on this one, it's one and three fourths inch, or roughly, uh, it's, I think it's just barely under that actually. And then from tip all the way to the bolster is two inches, um, if you were to measure it you know, like strictly from there down to all the way right there. Um, so I wanted to show you the stamps that are on here. Um, this is made of 440 stainless. And on the other side, it's got his maker's mark, uh, Bullfrog, Lafayette, Tennessee. And on the smaller blade, nothing on this side. And then the maker's mark again on this. Um, my initial impressions of this is it's a really nice blade. Um, right now, it's a little bit stiff, but I know that will loosen up over time. Um, and quite honestly, I'd, I'd prefer it to be a little bit um, stiff since this is not a locking blade you know it's just uh, the back spring holds it in so i would prefer it to be a little bit stiffer um, and right out of the box um, you know i was kind of messing around a little bit uh, it's pretty razor sharp like if you do your little cut test let's see if i can do this um, on camera here but um, just right out of the box I mean, it's pretty razor sharp. I was trying to do those little curly cues like some of you can do. There's a good one. Oh. I was trying to practice and get those little curly cues like some of you can do. But I mean, this is that really flimsy paper, you know, a receipt paper you get from Walmart. So, I mean, this is very thin. And I mean, this is just razor sharp. Say that now I can't cut. So, anyways, um, we'll see how this holds up over time. But I'm really excited about this. There we go. 
I'm not good at paper cuts. Getting paper cuts, maybe. There we go. So, anyways, you get the idea. It's a really nice blade. Um, again, I, I just wanted something that I can, you know, throw in my pocket. And if it gets dinged up, it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you get one from Case, they can run anywhere from um, 45 to about, oh geez, 75, 80 bucks, depending on what kind of uh, uh, bone you get. This one ran me right around 15 bucks shipped. Um, and it was at my door, I think three days after um, I paid for it. And I just found this on eBay. So I thought it was a, a good, I mean, a great looking knife. And you know, if it ended up not being what I wanted, I didn't pay that much for it. But so far, initial reviews, um, initial impressions, I really do like this knife. Um, and it may encourage me to go ahead and spend the extra money and get an actual case one. Um, but for now, this is gonna be my, um, one that I can put in my everyday uh, rotation and not worry if it gets a little bit scratched up. So anyways, just wanted to show you a fun little bullfrog, uh, butterbean, canoe shaped knife. All right, Fort Worth Clock Guy, out.